friends welcome back the session is going to be a very uh, short session which will not uh, go above say about 10 minutes maximum it, it could be 10 minutes so in this session what i'm going to handle is very simple i'm going to talk about the fundamental iot terms which are to be known uh, when do we see this video sir this video should be ideally seen as a prelim video or a prerequisite video um, ideally but i missed to upload it in the beginning so i'm uploading it now for the people who are starting it right now i believe that please you guys go through this and then go to rest of the videos for rest of the people i request you who are seeing rest of the videos please see this as an add on that will certainly be beneficial uh, we have defined iot in our own way and that is meaningful that is correct but i wanted to uh, make sure that what is the definition that ieee has given for iot IEEE defines IoT in a very simple and efficient way. They say that it is nothing but network of items, each embedded with sensors, which are connected to the internet. They made it very very simple. They say that we have got network of things available, and each of these things will have sensor, and all of them are connected to internet. This is what essentially we have conveyed, but in a different way, maybe using different words. Now, is there anybody? Uh, who has already communicated a definition which is much closer to iot is my question yes there is a society called etsi european telecommunication standards uh, they are the people who uh, revealed something about machine to machine communication they define that it is the communication between entities which can be more than one which do not require any sort of manual intervention they are certainly independent and most importantly this sort of automation enables even decision making to be taken on their own from the machine side which means the decision making even will not involve any manual intervention this is something fantastic so whatever iot has started doing whatever the growth of iot is talking about has been conveyed as machine to machine communication by uh, etsi now is there any uh, standard available is there any society which is working on to standardize all the uh, stuff all the uh, projects all the stuff regarding iot yes i iwtrbly has already started it and they have uh, at least about 140 standards which are already well documented i repeat it it is 140 standards which are already available in the iwtrbly uh, uh, standards.iwtrbly.org in a wait iot web link i have given the web link here i repeat it standards.iwtrbly.org/innovate/iot you can go there and you will really be stunned there are so much of documentation and so much of guidelines available there which will really be useful for you so i wish you guys see that link once you become a professional and uh, iot developer really has to know all these i believe at least over a period of time i wish you guys uh, see into it and now there is a term which is booming up in the uh, iot sector in the um, technical sector as well as academic sector um, cyber physical system e cyber physical system and iot the same this is a burning question this question is not answered properly in most of the blogs or most of the technical forums it's not answered properly there are few forums which has updated it very nicely including standards.iwtrbly. Uh, um, the website that i have given you here standards.iwtrbly.org they have got lot of documentation and that has been done very nicely there so i have referred that as well to get this slide done is there a difference between cps and iot yes there is a difference and is it uh, so huge that we need to understand is the difference massive that we need to really understand the difference yes you got to understand it now let us first define iot once again and then we will go to cyber physical system so that you can understand the difference properly iot is all about the things in the iot getting identified by a unique number unique identifier i told you this earlier we need address for all the things that are in iot network and essentially we are going to access that thing from anywhere anytime okay this can be related to uh, reading an rfid tag through an rfid reader very simple example i am telling you i am going to just scan rfid reader i can read it anytime i can scan it and i am going to read data this is as simple as that i am just giving you an example so this level of operation whatever i have given you as a simple example is a very low level operation so iot is mainly defined by the experts as 
some of this low level operations where we are not going to really interface some of the complex systems no controlling action much i mean no much complex action is no much decision making action is taken with iot is what people claim so they say that it is going to be identification it is going to be getting some preliminary data some very minor level data and you store it or control it that's going to be very simple so they say that it is a very simple level operation or simple level application that you are going to develop which can be regarded as iot but what can be called as cyber physical system sir cyber physical system is not iot a cps is more complex i can tell you this it has got mechanical electrical electronic systems coming together and they are network which means it is certainly complex i told you earlier that iot is a combination of so many technologies so many domains coming together i still stand by that the application that you are building can be of a lower level which i can regard as iot is what i am claiming right now now software also plays a major role in cps cps systems are very well independent in decision making and they are bit more brilliant than general iot system where general iot system can even stay with the level of just identification just a thing will get identified and maybe a sensor will work and we call it iot but it is most important to understand that cps is going to be much more complex there is a definition which is given by I, iot.ieee.org where they have defined all these components properly and it's a wonderful documentation i could read and you can also refer it i have given the link here in front of you they say that cps is mainly concerned about the collaborative activity of sensors or actuators to achieve a certain goal and to do this cps uses an iot system see the term here cps uses an iot system but the target is something pretty huge where we have much more complex environment so the collaborative uh, work of the distributed systems is what is very important here and it is going to be much more complex is what i mean you are having a collaborative activity of the sensors and actuators and for accomplishing a particular task you may use iot there iot is going to be a small level application development small level application uh, stuff which we have been talking about when you talk about cps it is going to be much huge where iot will become a component this is what they are claiming and now many people have misunderstood including me sometime back that what is wsn what is iot are they the same no they are definitely not the same what is wsn wsn is wireless sensor network it is a network which is built with so many autonomous sensors and the sensors can be as simple as pressure moisture temperature humidity any sensor all the sensed data will be passed centrally uh, to the centrally located server that's how we take it but the data passing happens in a coordinated pattern this is what wns is all wsn is all about all the data which are sensed are sent to the centralized uh, data collection center in a very nice coordinated pattern basically wsn is nothing but it's a group of connected nodes composed of multiple nodes and each node may have lot of sensors maybe thousands of sensors could be there totally and all these data which are to be which are collected from these sensors are sent and stored in the centralized server in a coordinated pattern and that's what wsn is all about but now iot we know what is it it is much more than that now hierarchy can be like this wireless sensor networks wsn followed by iot followed by cps whatever complex systems we are building we can easily regard it as cps whatever normal applications we have built like just monitoring the room temperature and then controlling it can be regarded as iot application and previous step just measuring i'll send the data that's it it can be called a wireless sensor network i hope i have clarified this pretty clear here if you have any queries i welcome your input you can type the comments in the comment section i'll be able to clarify you if you have any queries thank you